Good afternoon, it is 3 p.m. And I don't know if you can see that up there behind me, but that is Mount Wellington in Tassie. Um, so I've packed the Fuji X-T1 and uh, the wide angle lens, the 10 to 24 mil lens and the 40 to 150 mil lens and the whole leaf filter kit to go with that. And I'm gonna head up to the top of that mountain right now to go and do a bit of a recce and see if it's a good place to shoot from. Uh, let's get in the car, we'll drive up there and we'll see if we can get a good shot. We made it up to the top of Mount Wellington and it's very windy and very cold. Here's the boss. <laughs> Somewhere in there. I think we'll go and check out uh, the view. Woo. I don't think you're going to hear me over the wind. All right, car's locked. Let's go, boss. It is freezing out there. I'm just coming up here to check it out because I want to either do a sunset or a sunrise up here. And uh, magnificent view, but right now, way too windy, way too cold. I'd freeze to death if I even just stood there for a while <laughs> setting up my camera, so not gonna happen. But maybe I'll come up here first thing in the morning for sunrise. We'll see, but pretty amazing spot. Well, I just managed to find a place out of the wind. I just want to show you this view. This is amazing, check this out. Check out the view. So this is the sort of composition I think I'll go for if I can get a sunrise. The sun will come up over here somewhere. We'll have that observatory hut there. And then of course uh, Hobart down there. We'll see what the morning brings. Oh. <sighs> My lordy. It is like super cold up here on Mount Wellington. Jeez. Yeah, the boss, she was gonna swear then. <laughs> <laughs> it is ridiculously cold up here. Bit of a recce, at least I know what to expect up here. See you in the morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I tell you what, I am freezing, but this is amazing. I am on top of Mount Wellington uh, for sunrise and uh, I was hoping to get this cloud last. I've seen these photos with this cloud off of Mount Wellington. Um, so the clouds sort of coming and going, which is awesome. Um, the forecast was for about 10 kilometres of wind, uh, but it seems like it's a bit stronger than that. So I'm sort of in an area where I'm, I'm protected from the wind, zero degrees, according to my uh, car, and I'm going to say according to the road, because as I was walking along on the footpath of the road, there's patches of ice. So the goal is, I'm going to set up, and I want to get a, a uh, I want to get a composition that includes the. The observatory over there, the little hut, whatever it is, I don't know what they call it. Um, we're gonna get a composition that includes that and just overlooks Hobart. But man, how cool is this? How cool is this? I'll tell you what, I've been to some pretty special places and uh, you know, this is this is up there, this is up there. So let's get set up and we'll get some photos. Even now, when time has passed, I owe you all. Cause I cannot bring myself to try. I'm like a kid in the candy store. Oh, besides the fact that I'm freezing my face off. <laughs> this is cool. All right, come and check this out. I'll show you what I'm up to. I've got the Fuji X-T1. I've got the 14 to 24 mil on there. I haven't got any filters on yet, but 
I'm gonna get them out now, but you know right now, there's some amazing colour coming. I just love how the clouds just rolling on through. Ah, oh, how good's this? How good is this? The clouds are rolling through, the sun's coming up. There's like this really airy mist. It's amazing. So I got my leaf filters and uh, I'm gonna put something on just to settle this guy down. I got two pairs of gloves on, zero degrees, and it's windy. I have a feeling that would be like a wind chill of minus something. I'm definitely really well rugged up, but I'm still friggin' freezing. So that's a 0.9 uh, soft grad. We'll stick that in. Hey, that looks good. That looks real good. Wow, this is just looking beautiful. Yeah. So I put a foot nine soft grad in, and what that does is that reduces the uh, the top of the frame, so the glare from the sun allows the uh, camera to expose things more equally. And you know you can do it in post production, but if you can get it done whilst you're taking the photo, I think you get the the detail and the colours better. I might be wrong. I don't know. I just like the way it works. But uh, this is cool. This is cool. Well, it's still friggin' freezing, and uh, there's no sign of the sun yet. It's definitely coming up. Uh, sunrise is in five minutes. Uh, the problem is, there's a lot of cloud around, so we're probably not gonna see the sunrise. Um, this gusty wind, though, is playing havoc with this camera. <laughs> I nearly lost it. I've got a couple of great shots already, um, but I'm just waiting to see what the sun's gonna do, and then I'll probably take some more. It is 6.29, so it's two minutes past sunrise, we haven't seen the sun yet, and that's because the clouds are building. And uh, I just spoke to a guy who had spent the whole night up here, and I said, uh, I said to him, I said the forecast was just some snow, and he said it snowed last night whilst he was up here. Uh, he was up here trying to get the aurora, but because of the cloud, he wasn't able to get the aurora, but he, he had a go. Just check that out. <laughs> I can hardly speak, my jaw is frozen. But check out that view, mate. I'm telling you, that is just amazing. And, uh, yeah, that is amazing. Just amazing. I'd set up my iPhone down here on this tripod, and unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it took a tumble. Uh, it's still filming, mind you. It's still filming the tumble. Lucky I got a good case on it. Uh, You may think that looks a bit odd, but it's the only way I can control the iPhone whilst I've got these gloves on. That is ice. That's how cold it is here. That even now, when time has passed, I only long. Cause I could not bring myself to try. And even now. That was a fail. Everyone asked me about this, you know, the time-lapse trick I use. It's this thing here. You're supposed to put your GoPro on it, and then uh, your GoPro slowly rotates. And it takes 60 minutes for it to do a full 360 degrees. I just noticed one of my batteries down here on the floor. I don't even know where that came from. Hopefully not out of my camera. <laughs> it's that cold. All this crazy crap's going on. Whew. Oh, it's so cold. So I realize I haven't, uh, I haven't told you much about what I'm doing. My filter is is fogging up, as is this camera, which is a real challenge in these temperatures. I don't know why it's fogging up, but it is. Luckily, <laughs> there's so much mystery out, it's not gonna make a big difference. I've got the camera in Aperture Priority, and I like Aperture Priority because it allows me to control the depth of field. And I've got F10 dialed in, uh, which is really a good sweet spot for most lenses if you want sharpness throughout the entire lens especially with an ultra wide angle lens this is the 10 to 24 mil lens that i've got on here i've got my wide remote i don't use the wireless remote for this which is basically an iphone app i don't like it it's a bit of a pain in the bum to be honest with you connecting it up and blah blah blah, blah, blah. plus in these cold temps you need to use your fingers or <laughs> your nose as you saw before and in this wind i'm not doing any long exposures because i can see the camera shaking around one twentieth of a second, which is relatively quick, quick enough. ISO 100, no, 200, which is the lowest this one goes on its base ISO. And then, as I said before, I've got the graduated filters on there. 
just to take out some of the harshness of the light and that's pretty much it and then it's just a matter of waiting for the right light and grabbing the shot I've had a few nice shots I'm really really happy with how it's worked out this morning Even now, when time has passed, I pack up now. I apologise for all the wind noise, I know it would have been windy, uh, but there's not much I can do about that because it's really windy. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio. Whew, I'm going to go thaw out now. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to move on.